everyone! It's me, Star Lordis. I'm here in the kitchen, uh, also the set of I Am Hungry Now with the star of I Am Hungry Now, Mr. Tony here himself. I've done a video in the past, I think it was like a year ago, when um, I interviewed this uh, incredibly talented cook and uh, his show has since taken off. I know some of you are already familiar with the channel, but for those of you who are not, I strongly encourage you to go check out this channel. I'm Hungry Now, fantastic recipes he has, and um, I particularly like that one series. Believe it or not, astrology fans, he actually did a series on um, Aries through Pisces, different dishes. I believe Aries was the chicken wings, hot and spicy, just like Aries. So uh, tell us a little bit about that, Tony. What made you come up with the idea? <laughs> well, I was inspired. And by the way, hi, everyone. Uh, very good to uh, see you all again. Uh, it was uh, an inspiration that I, I had gotten, believe it or not, from your channel star. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, there's yes, a surprise. Yes. Well, big surprise. Yeah, I thought, you know, I'd like to do a series on cooking for the horoscopes for every single horoscope sign, a little dish just for them, you know, something a little personal. So uh, it turned out absolutely amazing, really, really well. And uh, I had a lot of great feedback. Uh, very, it was, yeah, it was, it was quite the experience, I must say. Yeah. I must say. That's good. And you know what I love best about your dishes is the is fact that? that they're pretty simple and easy to make, oh, yet yeah. they're absolutely fantastic. Thanks. I can attest to that. I have been uh, had the pleasure of enjoying many of the meals that uh, wonderful cook Tony over here has uh, made. I'm not a chef. I'm just somebody <laughs> yes, that likes are. to cook. And you love to cook. I mean, it shows. And I swear when people love what they do, you can, especially as a cook or a baker, you can taste it in the food itself. It's with and love, I right? definitely feel that's the case for this young man. Oh, <laughs> and, young uh, man. Nice. nice. And um, for those of you who are not familiar with this channel, I will be leaving a dis in the description box below a link to the channel. Um, I'm hungry now. You will not be sorry that you went to check this out. The recipes are absolutely amazing. Some of them are very like um, simple and easy to make. Some of them are a little bit complicated. What I like most about you, Tony, is the fact that you run the gauntlet on all the different types of things. You got barbecue, you have wild meat to vegetarian dishes to simple breakfasts and, and uh, appetizers. It's all about what you have at your house. And uh, you know, I, when I first started my channel, I wanted to, uh, you know and start off with stuff that you basically just have in your cupboard right so i didn't really feel that people should go out and buy and spend a lot of money on you know ingredients to make this dish unless you want to unless it's a specific dish but uh otherwise no it's just stuff that you have in your house and you know the whole thing about cooking is that you want to have fun with it right so uh i made a dish the other day that i was not really sure how it was going to turn out because I was missing one crucial ingredient. Uh, but you know what? I substituted it with something completely different and it turned out amazing. Mm -hmm. Just amazing. Uh, yeah, and that's the whole thing about cooking, right? You have to improv, right? Exactly, and that's what I love about your show is that you always mention to the audience that you can substitute this with something like the taco bombs that you made the other day. You put a meat in there, but for the vegetarians, you can just, you know, substitute it with... Meat with mushrooms or, substitute. or substitute meat yeah, or something yeah, like absolutely. that. And I like the fact that you constantly mention that to people. Um, but also too, your barbecue series has, has done very well yeah. last summer. You uh, did yeah. a lot of different barbecue type yes, I did. meals. Yeah, and so yes, that I appeals did. to a lot uh, of people. from uh, Prime who Rib. Yes, who doesn't love barbecue? <laughs> I love barbecue and summer is slowly approaching yes. and uh, or in some parts of this world is here already. Exactly. Uh, so barbecue ya yeah, is something that uh, I really, really like to do, but I also like to cook in the house, right? So again, pretty much anything that you have, you know, 
you know, mm-hmm. just go through your fridge, go through your cupboards, you know, mm-hmm. pull it all out, yeah. <laughs> make a decision, make it be something simple, could be something complicated, you know, something you can do with your kids, yes. something you can do with your with your friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever, a friend, not a friend, a neighbor, <laughs> I don't know, somebody, anybody. And speaking of kids, uh, we have a, Tony and I have a mutual friend in California and her um, her son, who's like the age of not even a year yet, apparently loves to sit in front of the uh, computer and watch Tony's channel. He loves to watch Tony cook. So apparently uh, his channel is very appealing to very young children, babies as well. So <laughs> I have that way. You, know. you can always uh, sit your child in front of the you TV can. or the YouTube and uh, have them watch uh, Tony's wonderful cooking. You yeah, never know. They absolutely. may they may grow up to be a, a cook like you. You know what? <laughs> and that's how I learned, right? Like, I, I learned from and watching and and you know I, you know I liked hanging out with my mom and my dad you know mm-hmm. in the kitchen and and you know grandparents everybody I just like hanging out in the kitchen you and know, they were and, wonderful cooks and they were as fantastic well, right? cooks you know my oh, I come from a very talented family of cooks apparently everybody mm-hmm. likes to cook and everybody knows how to do different things so and there's no uh, no can do kind of attitude like I can't do that mm-hmm. ah, it's too complicated no 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 you just wing it. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, also too. Speaking of your family heritage, you do show a lot of like Portuguese as well. I do Portuguese traditional yeah, meals. Yeah, and uh, yeah I've made cooking a, as well. Yeah, I have. I've made a mm-hmm. few. Uh, I'd like to get more into it. You know, I love Mediterranean food. Uh, I like Southeast Asian food. I yes. actually like food from all over the world. It's so quite it a collectic. It is. So there, yeah, you're gonna corner. find things that uh, you wouldn't necessarily think of mixing together mm-hmm. or or combining. But uh, that's the whole beauty, again, of cooking. It's like, uh, you know, think of uh, your kitchen as a blank canvas and all of your mm-hmm. food is your paint and you're just going to go in there and throw everything all over the place. You, know? you are definitely an artist when it comes to food. <laughs> I don't think anybody would, uh, uh, you know, uh, say different when it comes to well, thank you, Star Wars. cooking. Uh, so far, so many people have had the pleasure of sampling his food and it's nothing short of extraordinary and yes he is a complete artist when it comes to the kitchen he's very organized he is a capricorn so organization is primo for him and uh, as long as you get everything organized apparently uh, you can whiz through things pretty quick you also have to have the flair of creativity pisces moon flair of creativity going on here as well yeah, yeah. so Yes, that combination seems to be a winning combination, as well as, of course, loving what you do is so important in any field yeah. that you're in. The more you love what you do, the better off uh, you will be in terms of you'll be happier, the people you are serving will be happier. So always love what you do. Do what you love in life. That's Tony's motto. And eat well. <laughs> yes, yes. Always eat well. You know, you can... You can... <laughs> Save money here, you can save money there, but really whatever you're putting into your body is what you're really getting out of it, right? So you want to try to eat as healthy as you can. Mm -hmm. I understand that sometimes we can't, and sometimes, you know, we may have to cut a corner here, we may have to cut a corner there. Uh, I'm not going out and buying name brand noodles. I'm going to go out and buy the no name brand. You know, at the end of the day, look at at your ingredients, look look and see what's in it. And uh, there's nothing wrong with saving a little bit of money as far as as far as that goes but same token though uh yeah you should treat yourself every now and then to have something that you know you really really like you know whether absolutely it's, whether it's absolutely. a steak or, yeah. or if it's a lobster, lobster. Or, or if you don't like seafood you know you just you know whatever yeah. whatever whatever your enjoyment is uh you should mm-hmm. treat yourself because you know at the end of the day, you never know if you're going to have another meal, so why not make it a good one, right? And we, <laughs> that sounded so ominous. It did. I'm... <laughs> Hopefully we have many days ahead to enjoy I some know, wonderful, right? wonderful recipes from this, this wonderful fellow, uh, Tony from I'm Hungry Now fantastic recipes believe me you will not be sorry if you go and visit this young man's channel. Young and, man. uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like that. 
Uh, you are a young man. Too. Right, a lot so. of people. It all depends, right? <laughs> Where you're coming from. But yeah. I feel you're young at heart. Always, always will remain young yep. at heart. And as long as you keep doing what you do and you love doing what you do, and no one will ever stop this man from cooking and, and making wonderful meals. And Whether he makes it for a channel or not, he will always cook. Before he had a channel, he still always cooked. Always did. And um, I so. love the fact that he you know he he has such a wide span here it's like anything from vegetarian dishes like i said to you know barbecue to duck to salmon what to do with salmon trimmings one of his bigger videos but i understand that like you know we all need ideas as well right so he's great at providing these different type of ideas because you have to make dinner pretty much at least six days a week maybe mm -hmm. order at once but mm -hmm. You know, so he, he comes up with some good ideas and I think, okay. yes, I think that you would be, your life would be enhanced by visiting his channel and perhaps, That's <laughs> and don't Jeez, forget I to, visit my channel. <laughs> and don't forget to share and subscribe when you do go and visit this channel. I'm sure you will become a huge fan as I have been and so many people have been. They look forward to his videos. Although he doesn't uh, produce videos every single week on a schedule, he does do a lot. Like he makes sure he keeps up with the channel. So you'll always see some great new recipes. From as often as I can. I'm hungry you now. Know. He's a busy man. Yeah. So he's very much in demand. Yeah. <laughs> so and, as uh, you can imagine. My Instagram mm -hmm. channel also, which is uh, I am hungry now 77. Mm -hmm. So if you go on there, actually, you'll see a whole bunch of pictures. As well as, uh, as, well uh, as uh, Facebook. As, yeah. as well as Facebook, Facebook too. Facebook, I'm also yeah. on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, please feel free to come mm -hmm. by, check it out. Uh, you know, just even if you want to say hi, you know, <laughs> drop me a little yes. note or whatever. <laughs> uh, it'd be great to hear from you. But uh, yes, thank you very much, Star of Lourdes, for uh, taking mm -hmm. the time out of your busy day to <laughs> yes. uh, have me on your channel I thank in my you, kitchen. I thank you very much for allowing me to come into your sacred kitchen and uh, interview here. This is where the magic happens for Tony from I'm Hungry Now. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, for gracing my audience with your presence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Star Lordis, at this time, I'm signing off. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Peace. <laughs>